all right what is up my people we are live we are live so just try to get this going on Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's go. So we got Unchained Life Twins. This is my first time ever playing um, Unchained, so I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing, but <laughs> we're gonna try to learn. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, I think I think I can activate this. Try to bait out anything, an ash or something. You know? All right, and then that means I'm actually gonna need a trap card. So we're gonna get a trap card. All right, and then. Okay, we're gonna normal summon you. Fuck, man, if he has. Oh, hardness. Alright, we got Tillaments. Alright, what did he mail? Alright, he mail. Oh, fuck, man. Labyrinth, alright. Alright. Hey, what's up, Maurice? Good morning, bro. It's... But actually, I'm in Japan right now, so it is not morning time for me. It's night time, but good morning to you. All right, and then I think I'm going to go kiss a kill. Kiss a kill is going to allow me to draw. But thank you for joining, bro. How's everything with you, man? Got your morning coffee yet? Then we're gonna activate Kiss a Kill, bring back Leela. Then we're gonna link off into Leela. Alright, then we're gonna bring back the Kiss a Kill. And then the Kiss a Kill, let's see, she is pointing it. I'm gonna put her here. And then she's gonna allow me to draw a card. All right, we draw into another Imperm. And then I think from here, we're going to set the Unchained Trap card. And we're gonna make Trouble Sunny. Yeah, and then God, or blah, blah, yeah, like that. Ryan and Master Duel, bro, I hear you, man. I just made it to Master's rank, so I thought maybe this might be like. Let's put, let's put you here. Oh wait, no, fuck! I fucked it up. <laughs> I needed to put Kiss a Kill here because she's pointing. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, I guess we have to put you here. All right, and then with the Lila, we're gonna pop. 
the trap card and then with the trap card we're going to special summon uh-huh I think we special summon you All right yeah I think we're gonna I think we special summon you And then this is target one chain card in your graveyard. Set it, and you can destroy one card you control. So we'll get you. Bring back the trap card, and then I think I'm gonna pop the Leela. Damn, no way! I fucked it up. Nah, fuck, I fucked it up. I was trying to go for the Griffin Lock, but I fucked it up. Um, honestly, this is my first time trying this out, so I'm not sure what would be the best way, but I think... I would probably think that maybe Pure Unchain might be better. But what I'm trying to do with this build is I'm trying to turn one, try to create kind of like a, a griffin lock, but I kind of fucked it up already. Yeah, I kind of, <laughs> fuck, I kind of screw everything up already, but damn, all right. All right, so I guess the best thing to do is just make the angle, the solar rage. Yeah, I kind of screw myself up already, damn. All right. Yeah, I kind of screw myself up. So with the Life Twin package, it is much, much easier to make like a Griffin Lock on your turn one. And that's what I was trying to do, but I, I messed up a little bit. Damn, man, Super Polly off the roof. But I do think that maybe the um, the pure on chain is probably gonna be way better, yeah. Cause you're a dead guy. He's got Sharon. We well, got Sharon and Havnes. He's gonna go into a Kikalos. Definitely got to imprint that. Got to definitely imprint the Kikolos. He still has a normal summon, but we'll see. Got trouble sunny in my graveyard, so Ariana, we're gonna have to imprint Mariana too, cause yeah. We don't need him adding. Oh, damn, damn now. He had the big welcome in the graveyard. Alright, but let's see, I got my Trouble Sunny. I can banish Trouble Sunny and I can spin back a card. I got a long time that I don't play Life Twins. I used to play Life Twins like crazy. Like at the beginning of Master Duel, Life Twin was like one of my first like real competitive deck at the time that I used to play a lot. I used to go to like Platinum with it when Platinum was like... <laughs> I currently got 8,800 gems, but today I'll have 9,000. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna have a pretty good amount of gems.
What are you trying to build, man? Anything, anything that's got your interest? Okay, I think if I summon the Leela, the Leela is gonna be able to get me the Kiss Kill. All right, let's try that. Can summon Leela. He's gonna special summon. He's probably gonna summon the. Oh wait, but the lady, the lady is in the graveyard, right? Yeah, the lovely's in the graveyard. And then shit. All right, I don't know. Let's see what he does. Cause I got trouble, Sunny. Got the lady. The lady's gonna activate. He's gonna set a card. Oh, he's not. Oh shit! I fucked it up. <laughs> this is not the regular kiss and kill. This is frost. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, damn, this is not. Bro, I have a long time I don't play Live Twins. I, I guess I should have definitely played a couple warm-up games before doing this. <laughs> Alright, so... I can get this guy. One Fiend Monster or one Face Down card. No, but this is not a Fiend, so I cannot get that. So I'm gonna have to... I have to get the Aruha. Yep, and then we're just gonna have to pop. All right, and he's gonna special summon the big welcome. I forgot what is what is her special effect. I forgot from the graveyard. Uh, Lila, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Send one evil twin monster from your hand, deck, or face of field to the graveyard. Transaction rollback. Damn, the lovely is gonna pop. Oh, yeah, the lovely is gonna probably pop my. Well, let's see what happens. And then I can banish this, but just summon one free monster from my hand or graveyard. Then you can destroy one card. I would have had him, bro. I, I I really messed up at the beginning. I should have played a couple warm-up games first. <laughs> but I definitely would have won this. Daniel King, what's up, bro? Thank you, man. I just had, you know, I just been super, super busy, bro. That's why I haven't been able to, like, live stream and stuff like that. But I, I did try my best to try to live stream some more. All right. I, got, I can't mess this up. If I... I can get Trouble Sunny, and then Trouble Sunny, and then I can special summon my two monsters, right? I think that might be the best thing right now, let's see. And then we're going to destroy the Aruha, and then when this is destroyed, we can special summon... We can special summon. Hmm. You can target one card. You control, destroy, and you can destroy one spell. Trap on the field. I think we we can special summon Shavara. And then I can activate. But before anything, I think I'm gonna kill these two cards before anything. I'm gonna attack over that lovely. Q 
Okay, and then we're gonna get rid of that Mudragon. And then we're gonna activate this. And then we're gonna special summon another one. Okay. And then we're gonna activate both. And then I'm gonna draw one and then I'm gonna pop one. I'm gonna pop that back row. Oh shit, I forgot. That was transaction rollback. <laughs> I should have not popped transaction rollback. Alright, whatever, but alright, so now I can banish this and then we can send you to the graveyard. And then we can bring back Leela. And then we can... No, fuck, I fucked up. I should have sent my Shavara to the graveyard. So that it can activate. And then we're gonna go Solar Rage. Yeah, Solar Rage with you and you, and I'm gonna time out shit. Alright, the deck the deck pops off, man. The deck can definitely pop off. I can see it. I see the potential. I see the potential. It can definitely pop off. Damn, did I time off? <laughs> Did I time out with zero seconds? Alright, I see the potential. I see it. I just need to spend a little more time with it, but I think I, I definitely got this. Okay. With a little more time, I think, yeah, the deck can definitely pop off. I see the synergy between the two decks. So he's got transaction rollback. So he can copy his big welcome or his welcome, whatever he wants. Bro, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I panic, man. I see that big zero. <laughs> Damn, so Maurice, you got four decks to finish building. Bestio, Dogmatica, Gay Guardian, Rika Sanavalon. I got Rika Sanavalon, bro. I like Rika. Oh, shit. Uh, before the main phase. Um... Target one and chain monster you control one card on the field, destroy them both. Maybe this right here. And then I think. The problem is if I fuse. If I link with the with the Kikolos, it's gonna trigger her effect, right? Cause she's gonna get sent to the graveyard. I don't want that. But let's see, whatever. We're gonna pop. And we're gonna pop you. Okay, that's probably gonna activate the Kikolos, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not what I wanted, but. But then whatever he special summons, right, I should be able to, I should be able to link it away with the Soul of Rage. What did he mail? Alright, he mailed the Cash Theory. If you want to build Rika Sanavalon, before you build it, if you want, maybe I can show you a little bit of Rika Sanavalon. I, I already got that deck built so that you can um, decide whether or not you really want to make it or not. Okay, the frost is going to allow me to draw a card. Not 
Enchanted. And then Fairy Tail Snow is gonna be able. Wait, but I have Link Monster, so he's not gonna be able to flip anything now, right? Link Monsters cannot be flipped down. Bro, but the fact that he's like, <laughs> I don't want to say like he's struggling or anything, but the fact that we're <laughs> we're dueling for such a long time and I'm literally just trying to teach myself this deck right now, it's like, I don't know. Alright, he's trying to get rid of my Solar Rage. No, 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 I timed out. <laughs> I wanted it to get the Leela so, so the Leela can pop the snow, but... Alright, man. I toggled off, bro. I toggled off. <laughs> I got zero seconds, bro. I have to toggle off. Bro, I don't know, man. You say zero is not really zero, but... I've timed out a lot, so I don't know. It has happened before. Bro, it's crazy. Look at our life points, though. 3750. 3750. Damn, he popped the triple attack this talent. Fuck. Damn, I don't know, is that gonna trigger anything? Nah, right? Cause it's not it's not an unchained card, so not really. Oh damn, but he still had plays. Shit. <laughs> Alright, he's got maybe Rook Hollows, cause he got Kikolos in the graveyard, right? So he maybe he's gonna go to Rook Hollows. Damn, bro, I'm just tight. He popped triple attack this talent. Triple attack this talent would have came in clutch. Oh no, he's gonna go into Kaleido Hut to spin back my trap card. Alright. Let's see, what do we have? I'm just tight, bro. That if I if I would have spent a little more time with the deck, I definitely would have beaten this guy. Cause he's playing Labyrinth with Tillerman, and like, come on, bro. Like, why are you struggling? I don't even know what I'm doing half of the time. <laughs> Big welcome. An infinite and permanent game. This is, this is, yeah. This right here. If a card you control is destroyed by a battle card effect, you can switch some of this card from your hand. Damn. Alright, well, that's GG's for me, man. <laughs> Alright, we tried. But I had it. I just messed up my, my combo in the beginning, you know, but... Alright, let's, let's try it one more time. By the way, if any of you guys are Unchained Life Twin experts, feel free to school me, bro. I'm just learning as I go. I didn't really look up any like guides on YouTube or nothing like that. Like I didn't look up anything in the internet. 
so I'm literally like just playing this thing blind like I'm just I'm just an old man right now with like sunglasses on I Ah, right, damn, I don't have any of the on-chain trap cards. So this is gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna add you. And then, I think we're gonna... Now, another good thing about, like, the on-chain life twin is that a lot of the times, your on-chain monsters, you don't really need your normal summon, so you can use your normal summon on the Leela, so that you can bait out stuff like this. So he's gonna hit me with the Imperm, that's good. Alright, so then now I can pop... I can pop this. And I can special summon this. And then I think we're gonna go... If I go Leela... No, maybe I should pop the Aduha, right? Because the Leela, if I go Leela, Leela, I don't have a red. So I'm not going to be able to... No, yeah, we're going to have to just pop the Aruba. We're going to have to pop you. And then... That's going to trigger the Aruha. Alright, and then here... We can special summon... You. And then target one card, destroy, and then destroy, nope. And then I think we're gonna go into you. I think we're gonna use you. Hmm. The Wave King, but if I go into the Wave King now, no, right? I think I need... Because I need to get a trap card out here, so yeah, I think we're gonna have to... Yeah, we're gonna go into you. you and then we're gonna activate you and then I'm gonna get you and then the problem here is that the Aruha already activated so I already got you Damn, this is tricky right here. I think we, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to add you. He can, this is sort of like a little hand trap. All right. And then we can pop. And if you do special summon this. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to pop the Aruha. Okay, we're gonna pop you. And this is going to trigger. Then we can special summon... Special summon this card from your hand. Okay, this card is special summon. This card, one card, destroy it. I think I'd rather maybe try to use this during my opponent's turn. So I'm gonna hold back on this. And then we can special summon you. Alright. Special. Alright, then you can target one card you control. Then I think we can just go into the Solar Rage, right? Damn, I really wanted it. Turn 1, this is what I'm trying to do with the Evil Twin. Try to grip him, lock him, turn 1. It's really easy to do with the Life Twin cards. If I destroy you, I can special summon you, right? From, from your hand deck, so maybe... 
No, you know what? Let's just go into the Solar Rage. Or, 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 actually, yeah, right? Because the Yama, the Yama, um, if a card you control is destroyed, yeah, right? You can banish this, and then you can special summon a female monster. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna pop. Pop you. Then that's gonna trigger the Yama. And then this is gonna trigger you. So... I'm going to be able to special summon special summon you from the graveyard so that I can go into my rank 6. And then we can special summon you. And then this is going to recycle. No, 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 no. Fuck. No. I didn't mean to destroy. Fuck. <laughs> no, you can Alright, and then we can go into our rank 6. <laughs> this is what I'm just trying to do. Alright, so now we got some negates at least going on. And then I can link during my opponent's turn. Alright. But I didn't want to pop this card right here. Because this card was going to allow me to recycle my trap card. That's what I wanted to do. So I kind of misclicked there. My bad on that one right there. The fuck is this? Photon. Ah, uh, Photon. This is like an OTK. If this card special summon, you can discard. Damn, but I got to discard with this card right here. So this is not really all that. And then during your opponent's turn, you can try one face uh, special summon monster. Right here. You got a special summon. So if he XZs or something into like that, I'm just going to link it away. So this is going to negate spell, trap, or monster effect. Pay 2,000 life points. And then this is not once per turn, right? Yeah, this is what. Pay 2,000 life points, target one form to me, graveyard special, summon it. Both and one gap. Yeah, now we got to negate that. Gotta negate that. Oh damn, triple attack is talent. Take control. Hmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So he's gonna take that. We'll bring you back. Oh, he's probably gonna go into a zoo, right? That's why he wanted to take it. Yeah, there you go. He just want to go into a zoo. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna wipe the field right now, too? Alright, well... I'm gonna... <laughs> he did not read my cards, bro. <laughs> he's gonna wipe the field right away. Alright, so actually, very quickly, guys. Let me... um. Bro, nah, man, I haven't, like I said, for this deck, I really haven't, um, I didn't look at no, no guide or anything, but I saved, I don't remember, I think maybe it was this one, I saved one, I saved the replay that I wanted to go back, because I did, I did like the griffin lock that I really wanted to do with the life twin, I don't know, let me just see real quick if it was this one, I can't remember which replay was it. Sometimes, like, if I really want to learn a deck very, very quickly because I want to make, like, a video on it or something like that, then, you know, obviously, like, I will, um, I will look up, like, a guide or something like that on YouTube or anything. But for this specific deck, I, I'm, I'm blind. I did not look up anything. I just went with, like, my knowledge from Life Twin because I used to play Life Twin a lot when Master Duel first dropped. And then I actually did play like Life Twin Unchained a little while, a little while like when my when Master Duel also first dropped, I did play Life Twin Unchained a little bit, but that was like you know two years ago, and I haven't touched the deck ever since. So that's why I decided to kind of revisit it just to see how much I can remember. But anyways, I think yeah, I think this this um replay I kind of do the Griffin Lock. So let me just look at it real quick. What did I do here? Because turn one, if you go uninterrupted, like, you can make a Griffin Lock very, very easily, alright? So we go, Kiss to Kill, Kiss to Kill, bring Leela, then we gotta go to Leela. Leela's gonna bring back the Kiss to Kill. So this is like typical, typical life, life twin stuff. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a card. Right, then I went into Trouble Sunny. Okay, makes sense. Then I'm gonna set the Unchain. Yeah, then Trouble Sunny, bring back Leela, kiss a kill. Then Leela's gonna pop the Unchain Trap card. Then that's going to. Oh, he had Ash Blossom, but I had the Cross Out Designator, so I negated that. And then I special summon the Shavara. And then with the Shavara and the Lila, we went into Yama. Alright, so that's what I did. <laughs> okay, then the Shavara and the Yama is going to activate. So I'm going to add Aruha. And then I'm going to set... Alright, and then here's very important that you set the trap card that you did not pop. So since I already popped Escape of the Unchained... Then make sure that you add the other one, because otherwise you're not going to be able to do it. And then with Yama, I added Aruha, so now Aruha is going to be able to pop this trap card. Alright, then I triple attack this talent, and I looked at his hand, see what he's got. Got rid of that super poly. Alright, then Aruha is going to pop. And that's going to special summon the Samsara, so Samsara is going to recycle the trap. Then we pop the Aruha. Aruha is going to special summon the other dog. And then here, that's, then that's, there we go. That's, that was the Griffin Lock right there. That's how I did it. <laughs> that's what I did right there. So, very quick, let me just go back up. So we do normal Life Twin stuff, then Life Twin, we go into the Keep Trouble Sunny, then the Trouble Sunny is going to get the Leela, Leela is going to pop the Trap card, and the Trap card is going to Special Summon the Shavara, okay, then with the Shavara and the Leela, we go the Yama, then the Yama is going to add the Aruha, and the Shavara is going to set the other Trap card, okay, 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 then we're going to pop the Aruha, pop the thing with the Aruha, special summon the Sarama, then pop the Aruha, set the trap card, and get the Shayama, and then the Shayama, okay, alright, so that's, that's, that was the Griffin Lock, so as you can see, you can do this very, very easy turn one with like, with the Life Twin package, 
And this is kind of what you want to do when if you ever play like Life Twin Unchained. You just want to Griffin lock them turn one. And then on your next turn, you can just OTK them. Alright, that's what I did. And then, I don't know, this replay, why did I save it? Branded. I don't know, let's, let me look at it real quick. I don't remember why did I save this one. <laughs> But I know I saved the first one because I did the Griffin Log and I just didn't want to forget it. So I saved it for those that purpose. Alright, let's see. What did I do here? Alright, this is going second too. Summon a Luber. Right, Imprint the Luber. Kind of a good thing. I'm a diverse duelist for playing in different decks. Yeah, bro, I hear you, man. Like, I tried to play in different decks for that reason, too, man. Just so that I can understand, like, how each deck kind of, like, works and operates. So that way I can learn how to, like, counter it. Alright, so this one, I don't think I did the Griffin lock because I don't have any of my Leela's, none of my Light Twin cards, and I didn't have any of the Unchained Trap cards. So I guess this is just typical Unchained stuff, man. Yeah, bro, the Griffin lock is really, really underrated, man. People don't... <laughs> people really underestimate it. He had the Bistio, he's gonna get... This we go into. All right, we went into the high seizure. All right, yeah, that's probably. I think that yeah, that's pretty much over for him. I don't think he he was able to do anything more after that. It's gonna send retribution, Lubellion. I think I called by the grave, the Lubellion. Yeah. And then I think he's gonna try to banish it with the Druid's Worm, but I negate it with the Caesar. Yeah, and then I think he scoops. Yeah, yeah, alright, that's what it was. Alright. Alright, so that's why I saved it. This was for the Griffin Lock, and then this was just regular Unchained stuff. Alright, I don't know. Let's see. If... Can we do it again? And then after this, I don't know if you guys want to see any other deck, I can show you. I can show you like the decks that I have built. I have like a whole bunch of decks that I never made videos on that I never played. Like the Monadium deck that I made. Like I was like, yo, I have this deck for the longest, but I just never played it. I, I don't know. Sometimes I make decks and I, just, I never play them. Yo, yeah, man. Zero gems, bro. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> Send help. Send help, man. I'm broke. Life Twin. Ah, Frost. Damn. All right. So this Frost is not going to be able to. Holy shit, man. All right. I think I'm going to have to. I don't want to get... I don't want to waste my imperm. So I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to set this. And then I'm just going to have to pop it with the Aruha. Well, he's got Maxi. Yeah, I thought so. I wasted all my gems, bro, on this damn pack. Oh, shit. And that does nothing. <laughs> That does absolutely nothing. The only thing that does, if he draws a card, I'm going to be able to draw a card with her effect. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that was a brick 10. I, don't, I didn't even realize it. Oh, well, look what it is. Yep, we're going to have to imperm that. Look what it is. Good old snake eyes. Ape uh, 
Frosty for Sword Soul, Mirror, I go 9 out of 11. But that's the other thing, I got the Sword Soul um, package, you know, that we all got with the code and stuff like that, but Sword Soul is another deck, like, I never, I've never ever played in my life, and I never, I got it, but you know. Yeah, he's got original sinful spoil. What are you gonna do? Get the poplar? If he gets poplar, poplar is gonna search for the field spell, I suppose. But I'm just wondering, should I imperm the poplar? Oh no, he's gonna get the oak. One of your level one that is banished. Um, he normal summoned already, right? Yeah, nah, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to negate that. Because if I don't negate that, then he's going to be able to send... Ah, fuck, I forgot the Link Karibo. Damn, I forgot the Link Karibo. Fuck, I forgot the Link Karibo. Now he's gonna be able to activate this shit. He's gonna send two cards, face up, um, special summon one snake eye monster from your hand or deck. I mean, I don't know, let's see, because if he does that, what? He's gonna get maybe the poplar, then the poplar is gonna search for maybe for the field spell, and then the field spell is probably going to set the flame burge in the back row but then other than that i don't think what else can they do i mean he, he cannot go into hita he cannot go into oh wait but far he can't go to hita because the fucking kizuke was a fire isn't it oh no the ash the ash the ash the ash the ash Yeah, I completely forgot about the Link Karibo. <laughs> if I would have remembered the Link Karibo, I would have let him bring back the Ash. And then after he brought back the Ash, then I probably would have imprimed. Because now he's going to be able to bring back the Oak. And then with the Oak, he's going to be able to send the Oak... And the Promethean Princess to the graveyard, and he's gonna be able to get the Flame Burge. Oh no, he's gonna get the Heater. Oh, he's gonna, I guess, what? He's gonna go to Ambler Whale then? But I mean, if he kills my Aruha, I can special summon an Unchained Monster from my hand deck. So, I think I'm gonna special summon you, right? Because if I special summon you, and when you get sent to the graveyard, he attacked with the boy. He attacked with the princess? Oh no, he attacked with. No, he attacked. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna get you. Because when you're destroyed, you're gonna search me a trap card. This one, so I can special summon. So this one is gonna allow me to special summon. Maybe I'm gonna special summon you, the Sharvara, from the graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> ban Link Karibo, bro. Imagine that. <laughs> but actually, nah, bro. Because if you ban Link Karibo. <laughs> It's gonna screw up the vampire deck, bro, because I need Link Karibo for my, uh... I'm gonna need it for my familiar. I mean, Anima is still around, but, you know, Anima, you know, if, if you cannot suck up something with the Anima, like, it serves no purpose. Call by the grave. Call by the grave. I'm gonna call by the grave that fucking princess. Yep, right? We just call by the grave. If he's got Maxi, fuck it. He's got Maxi. I mean, what are we gonna do? We have to get rid of that shit.
Okay, then we're gonna activate this. And then I think... Damn, bro, but... I think I'm gonna have to get you, and then I'm gonna have to crash. Cause this is gonna get me a trap card, but the trap card is not really gonna do me good right now. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna have to crash. And then this is the thing, I guess. We get you, we can set. Oh, if we special summon you, I can crash into his. And this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the. Yeah, I think we might get this right. Because it was destroyed and send it. This time you can special summon this card, replace it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But alright, if I get this, target one on chain in your graveyard, shit man, set it to your field. <laughs> then destroy one card you control. Yeah, I don't think that was, maybe I don't think that was a smart decision right there. Oh, it's not going to activate? Damn, I thought it was going to activate. Oh, nah, damn, I fucked that up then. Alrighty then, well, we live, we learn. <laughs> Alright, I'll do one more, and then after this... I can play another deck. You guys can let me know what you gonna, what you wanna see play. I can show you my decks, and then you can pick what would you would like to see. I need to get better with this deck, obviously, but eventually I'll, I'll still, I'll continue practicing with it, and I'll still like, I'll figure it out. Why wow, they pay me? Alright, what we got? We got Kissy Kill. Oh, damn. Dimensional Shifter. Damn, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Dimensional Shifter is going to screw everything up, bro. Damn, that's, that's gonna screw us up. We need the graveyard. And what we got? Cash Theorem, maybe? I don't know, let's see, what, what can we do here? Because we need a graveyard. We're gonna need a graveyard for sure. Alright, let's just see what he's got. I think... like maybe I'm just going to get the trap card right maybe I'll just get the trap card because right now I don't want to pop everything is going to get banished so it makes no sense yeah we'll just get the trap card and then we can special summon from your hand or graveyard If I normal summon this, and then if I pop this, but this is gonna go. Special summon chain. If this set card is destroyed, you can special summon chain monster from your deck. You know what? I'm just gonna go like this. 
exactly that's exactly what I wanted to do I just want to bait out whatever I can I'm not even that's exactly what I wanted to do <laughs> just bait out all the negates so we're gonna set you this is probably imperm I'm gonna set in my imperm here just in case I don't want him to negate my imperm so All right, so we made him waste at least the Ash, and I got Max C. So, you know what? Damn, should I shotgun it? Nah. Because he's got a monster on the board, so I don't even know if he's going to be able to special summon a Castile or anything. So he's got this card in the hand. Okay, right, and then Need to keep it jumping. Yeah, I mean, I can special summon this. Actually, nah. Whatever, he can go. By the way guys, if the music is too loud or something like that, also let me know. I'm just vibing right here, so. I think I might cut this. Like, I have this because you can banish it and you can draw a card. But I don't know if it's really that necessary right now. So, I'm going to almost summon you. Activate. Then we're gonna special summon. Special summon you. Okay, then this is gonna allow me to recycle. trying to bait out I don't know if he's got an imperm or something like because if I go into my link plays I don't want him to kind of negate it and then we're gonna pop you and activate you and then we can special summon you The one card you control, destroy, then you can destroy one spell of child. I can pop that, but let's go into the Yama. Oh, wait, I messed up. I should have gotten the Shavara. Shavara to give me the trap card. Because I already popped this. But I wonder what is that back roll that he's got. He doesn't want to like. Bro, man, Daniel, you're probably going to hate me, bro. But <laughs> I did play. I did play Weather Painters, but I dismantled it, bro. I needed some UR dust. And then like, I was like, man, I don't know. I don't play. So I kind of dismantle my, I kind of dismantle my weather painters, but I did play it for a while. And I saw like in the Master Duel website, somebody made like a guide too on like weather painters, but they played it completely different from how I was playing it too.
then from here, what should we do? Damn, bro, that card is big too. Twenty-seven hundred. Like, I guess we go Solar Rage. Okay, then this is gonna set my trap card, and then I can also search for Aruha. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, why didn't the Yama didn't activate? Yeah, bro, I really need it, man. And as you can see, I have zero. <laughs> I have zero gems, too, man. Special sound, man. Yeah, so we'll activate you. And then we'll activate you. He's got something, bro. He has, like, the longest just holding down. I don't know if it's to this set card or to like something in the hand <laughs> i don't know what he is waiting for it just got me all anxious i've been trying to bait it out for the longest he's just not he's just not letting it go he's just not letting it go i guess we have to bring you And then all of this already activated. I'm gonna bring you. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no I'm not gonna destroy a card. <laughs> now I don't know. Here's the thing: I can pop one of these cards and then pop the back row and. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna pop you. And then I'm gonna pop you, cause what the hell? What is this, Forbidden Lands? That's what he was holding on to, Forbidden Lands. My man was holding on to that Forbidden Lands, I don't know for what, so... <laughs> now I can attack over this bullshit. Oh damn, I forgot. I forgot all about that. He's gonna get life points, but it's alright. I didn't want to waste the call by the grave on it, just in case. Alright, he's probably playing Cash Thera, so I'm gonna shotgun the Maxi. Chances are he's playing Castira because whoever's playing that. Ah, oh, damn. Marky's Feather Duster. There we go, unicorn. Unicorn can be problematic. I'm gonna get rid of it. We're gonna go into you. Kate. Because Unicorn, I, I don't like Unicorn. <laughs> Triple attack this talent. What is he going to do? Take control. 
Damn, I can't negate it? What the fuck? When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated. Ah, oh, that includes a special summon a monster. That's why I can't negate it, because it's triple attack this talent. We're going to add you to the hand. He's going to go into Zeus, I guess. Yep. Good old Zeus. Let's see the crit like this. Maybe I can force out the Zeus with Leela. Alright, let's see. What do we draw into? Cross out designator. I can set the cross out designator for the Sharama, but we'll do that later. We got Okay, we're gonna get you And then I'm gonna special summon you There we go. Bait out that Zeus. Bait out that Zeus. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bait out that Zeus. Now we can pop off. Then actually, yeah, I can special summon this, and then I think I can discard the Crossout Designator and get rid of the Zeus. Yep, get rid. Now we can get rid of the Zeus. And then... How much we got? 7,000. Damn, still not enough? Fuck. I guess we can go into the Yama. We'll go into the Yama. Then the Yama is gonna touch me Aruha and then the um, Shavara can set the trap card. Aruha. Oh wait, what the fuck? Damn, did I already activate? Oh, I did, that's why. Shit, I forgot, I already activated. I already activated the Shavara, I forgot, that's why. Alright, we gotta go into Soul of Rage because it's Cash Kira, so if he special summons anything, then I can lick it off. I can just link it away with the Soul of Rage. Alright. Alright, this should be game over here. So now I can normal summon Aruha. Oh, my boy Andri. What's good, homie? Welcome to the stream. And we can pop you. We can special summon you. I mean, I don't think I need to do that, right? That's game. 
we can just go for game. All right. Yay, we won. <laughs> still requires... Still, I still need to spend more time with the deck, obviously, but... Um... All right. Let's see. I can show you guys. I can show you guys like some decks that I have. If you guys want to see me play other decks while I still learn this Unchained stuff. So this is everything I have. Um, this is my. This is the uh, Rika. I forgot who. It was. I'm sorry. Uh, Mor uh, Maurice, right? I think it was you. You were interested in seeing Rika. I can try to play Rika. This is Rika. Uh, this is Manadium. This was the vampire build that I made not too long ago. This is Brenda Despia. This is Trap Tricks. Uh, this is Ice J's Tillament. Then we got Exo Sisters. Agents. Maybe Agents. I don't know if. Agents, Agents is a pretty cool deck. Shout out to the boy Abe. I learned how to play this deck by uh, watching Abe play this deck. But this is what I got. Then we got Infernobles. Uh, we got Shiranui. And then this was like a, this is a, this is funny, bro. This was like a, a Snake Eyes vampire, bro. I don't know what I was trying to do with this deck. I, <laughs> I made it, and I was just like playing with it, but I never, I don't think I ever made anything out of it. But I was just testing things out, so this is like a vampire snake eyes. And then we got Monadio with Tillaments. And then we got the Sprite Vamps. You got Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Agents, huh? Agents is cool. Agents, I have a long time I don't play Agents too, so I kind of got to memorize some things. It's like a little Black Luster, Chaos Black Luster Soldier I was messing around with this is just like zombies um all right let's see agents agent where's agent i call them the secret service this deck this deck can pop off too let me see if i remember how to play it otk we're playing against otk Oh shit, he made me go first. I thought he was gonna go. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, damn, not the best, not the best, not the best hand. And then, oh boy, but we have sacred waters. So sacred waters, I'm gonna add you. Okay, then we can normal summon you. Okay, activate. We can search for you. Okay, then from here. Um, I think we're gonna go into you. Send the same. If the sentry in the sky, you can add. Uh huh. Thank you. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go into you. And the reason being is because I want to get um, Hyperion into the graveyard. Okay. 
Okay, then we're gonna send you to the graveyard. Then we can activate you. Bring you back. Alright, then we can activate you by banishing you. We're gonna bring you here. Okay, and then maybe we're gonna go into... Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go into Sprite Owl first. Because I need to get some fairies into the graveyard. Okay, and then the Sprite Elf is gonna bring back... Bring you back. So with this deck, you wanna do a Christian lock. So, if I go into Hyperion... One, two, three, four. So if I go into Hyperion, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard and target one card in either graveyard. Banish it. Yeah, I think I have to get rid of. Yeah, I gotta get rid of one fairy from my graveyard. So we can banish you. And then, unfortunately, we have to banish Sacred Waters. Now we can go into Hyperion. Put Hyperion here. And then we got three fairies, right? So now with Hyperion, we're gonna send you to the graveyard. We can activate. Um, one, two, three, four. Yes, we gotta get rid of Effect Veiler, unfortunately. And then we're gonna add Christia. And then Christia is gonna special summon herself. And then we're going to add you back. All right, and then that's the Christian lock. So now pretty much he cannot special summon monsters. This is what this card does right here. If you have this, um, if this face up card, where is it? Whatever. Hey, what the hell is it? What are we going up against? Therion. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this card right here says uh, neither player can special summon monsters So he won't be able to special summon monsters, so And then we have it under the sprite L so he won't be able to like imprim or something like that Clockwork Knight Okay, then I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so see, he said not. <laughs> he can't really special summon due to the crystal lock. So I'm gonna activate this. Uh huh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> He had nothing else to do, bro. So, once per turn. 
Okay, we're gonna banish you. And we're gonna get rid of this stupid clockwork shit. And we can normal summon you. Now we can just attack. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this this Colosseum is gonna it's gonna protect. Okay, then we can set Imper. Oh wait, but I think yeah, I can banish twice because I have the Sanctuary in the Sky. I forgot all about that. So, do we get rid of the, this Colosseum or this back row? Huh. I mean, this is just going to allow him to all right let's pop this he's got called by the grave a flag bailer he can banish one light fairy monster so good, so good. I don't think he can do much over here. Because I'm in Ethereum. <laughs> the Ethereum, they, they need to pretty much special summon all the time. But the Christian like he cannot special summon, so. But, I mean, I don't got... And then, because of the, the Scholosseum, he's not going to be able to... Yeah, see? <laughs> he can't do not, He can't do much. <laughs> See, this Asian deck is crazy, bro. <laughs> this Asian deck goes in as well. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more. Alright, we're gonna go second. Kind of miss World Chalice and Master Duel. Yeah, I hear you, man. The World Chalice, bro, that's also like one of my favorite lores when it comes to Yu Gi Oh! Oh, whoa, what happened? Probably a stun deck. He probably bricked. Let's check that out. I don't know. Is it a stun deck? Oh, whoa, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes going first, and they got Bonfire and everything, and what? Three Wanted, Bonfires? Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but that's crazy, man, to break with Snake Eyes. Shit. Alright, let's see, what do we get? Oh man, this hand sucks. <laughs> Talking about brick and how I bricked. Lab tricks. Ooh, labyrinth and trap tricks. And how's that? I never really. I've never experimented with it, but I've seen sometimes people playing with it. I like trap tricks, you know, but trap tricks, like, it just struggles going in second. But I feel like if you mix it with Labyrinth, maybe that can alleviate going second. Damn, bro. If this card is sent to the graveyard, it can manage up to two other fairy monsters from your field and or graveyard. Shit, man. I bricked. On my rank up game, bro, I'm going to brick. 
I guess we're just gonna set this. Cause if I mean if I <laughs> if I normal summon this, the only thing I'm gonna be able to make is an Almirage. And then I can't even but the sanctuary in the sky, battle damage to the control of a fairy monster becomes zero. But I don't wanna yeah, I need I need the sanctuary in the sky, so I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, Nemleria, bro, I know it's not like a a really crazy crazy deck but I hate playing against that deck bro <laughs> oh damn this math mech bro yeah this is probably done yeah bro he negated max c2 yeah this is an L <laughs> Let's see what he's gonna do. What he normal summoned this firewall shit. Lingaribo. If this card, what is this gonna do? If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one firewall monster from your deck except firewall damn do we negate that all right I don't know whatever bro I it's 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 a done deal anyways I mean it's math mech. they can play through so much stuff Mower on top of everything too, so this is gonna get him his circular. I suppose he's gonna search. Dragon Ruler, Kastira, I went into, I went into Galaxy Tomahawk. Oh yeah, bro, Dimensional, <laughs> Dimensional Barrier is still a card to be reckoned with, man. Alright, I'm just gonna scoop, cause that's all the negates and this Math Mag, like, yeah, I bricked, unfortunately. Alright, but that's Agent. Alright, shall we try another deck? Let's see, what should we play? I got Labyrinth, but like, actually Labyrinth, I need to fix it up. I haven't touched this Labyrinth in a long time too, because actually I ended up pulling the areas. I got two of them. Uh, yeah, I got two of this shorty, so I don't know. I should probably get rid of this. Um... Maybe the hand traps. I haven't touched Labyrinth in like forever too, bro. If I play Labyrinth, I'll probably embarrass myself though. Because this this deck, this is a deck I haven't really touched in months. <laughs> but so many decks I need to like freshen up on. Like all of these decks too, like over here. Bad bitches. I call Harpies bad bitches. I haven't played Harpies in a long time. And then B Water, this is Marinces too. I haven't touched Marinces in a long time. And then this is what? Ice Jades. Ice Jades with. Uh, what is it? Atlantean? Atlantean Ice Jades. But yeah, these are pretty much all the decks that I have. Yeah, I mean, I know Labyrinth, man. Labyrinth was just... 
it's forever been like a great deck, bro. Like, it's definitely, yeah. I, I hate playing against it, to be honest. It's like, it's a deck that I lose to a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Labyrinth kicks my ass a lot of times. Um, What should we play? I can play, let's see what time it is. I got maybe like 20 more minutes. And then I gotta head out. It's, it's about to be 11 o'clock over here in Japan. So I gotta start getting ready to hit the sack got an early day tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning um vamps i don't know <laughs> how's vamps man should we try vamps in, ma in master rank this is the going second where's the uh hold up what's the other vampire deck Or should I try the the Snake Eyes, the Snake Eyes Vampire? That like I I made it, but I was just like, nah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> this right here. I made this deck, and I was just like, bro, I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's see. I got the bonfire. They gave me three bonfires. So I feel like we should add the bonfires, but damn, 44 cards, I need to get rid of. Let's see, I don't know. I can probably get rid of Zombie World. Um, see, the thing is, like, if I... Like, I, I put Familiar and Retainer to 2 and 1, but the thing is, like, by having them 2 and 1, like... It just becomes like a Snake Eyes deck. That I was, that, I think that's just what it was. I was like, if I'm gonna play this, I should just play Snake Eyes. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. Like, uh, damn, I don't even know what 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 to cut. Forbidden Droplet. Forbidden Droplet can come in clutch though. Maybe the one for one? I can, yeah, maybe cut the one for one. Because we got the bonfire, so the bonfires can get us this already. But I mean, the one for one is a special summon. See, shit, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Because the one for one. I don't know. Let's let's just try like this real quick. Let's just see what happens. And then our extra deck is everything all right? I suppose everything is okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's 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 see what happens. <laughs> Snake eyes, vampires. Lupe Fiasco. Hey, we're going second too. Snake Eyes Vampires, bro. Can we make this? I don't know. Like, the reason why I never made a video on it or anything like that is because, like, a lot of it, it just felt like I was just playing Snake Eyes and not really vampires. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I got rid of Zombie World, but I forgot to get rid of Banshee. Whoops. I forgot. <laughs> I got rid of Zombie World, but I forgot to get rid of Banshee. Ah, right, you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to give him that W, whatever. Cuz I got rid of I got rid of the freaking Zombie World, but I didn't get rid of the Banshee. Because if I'm not going to play Zombie World, then I don't really need Banshee. And you know, in the Zombie World, it's all just for the Vampire Sucker Snatch and Steal stuff. But, I don't know. Let's see. If I get rid of that, then maybe I'm not going to need Foolish Burial. So then maybe I can add the One for One again. One for one or triple imperm. Yeah, bro. People always talk about waifus, but they leave Banshee out of the game. I don't know why. 
triple imperm or one for one? One for one can also give me access to familiar. And then familiar can give me access to ghost or void void. Alright, let's let's try it. One for one. But one for one. Or should I actually or should I get the Diabell Star trap card? Nah, whatever man. Let's go for consistency. Let's let's just try one for one. Let's just try one for one. Um Where's one for one? One for one. God damn, why put one for one but I get all of these damn cards? Normal spell and you are one for one, one for one. Here we go. All right, this should be pretty consistent, right? Eh? The bonfire. Battling boxes, bro. How's battling boxes? I don't, I don't know. I got some of the URs for Battling Boxer, but I dismantled them, bro, like, I don't know. I mean, that deck never really caught my attention, so I'm not sure. Alright, let's see. Damn, if I was going first, this would have been a cracked hand. This would have been cracked. <laughs> Battling boxes are for Chad's. <laughs> the vampire man himself, Sky Gaming, what's up, bro? Good morning out there. Oh, we got the mirror match too. Heavy storm, bro. I don't know if heavy I don't know if they will put heavy storm because of unchained. Cuz heavy storm destroys also your back row, right? So that I mean, if it comes, that would be crazy for unchained support. And Heavy Storm, I think, is a UR too, so like, I don't know. But I think, yeah, if Heavy Storm comes, Unchained will definitely benefit the most. Damn, we played the Mirror Match too, but he's got the Jet Synchron, so he's probably gonna make a Borough Load. But maybe I can bait him out. So I can probably bait him out with the bonfire. And then if he negates the bonfire, I can use triple attack this talent. And if he doesn't negate the bonfire, then I'll add poplar and then I'll special summon poplar and then Yeah, we can probably try to bait him out. So we'll see what happens. Like, I played against, like, a Battling Boxer dude when I was climbing up the ranks, and he, yeah, I clapped him pretty easy, but, I mean, I don't know, I guess I'll have to look into that deck too, because I don't know too much about Battling Boxer, to be honest. And anybody who just joined, like, I know the title says Unchained Life Twins, but we were playing Life Twin Unchained for 
the better um, half, or well, not the better half, but pretty much for the last hour or so of the stream. And now we're just chilling and we're just testing out some decks. So, and by the way, everybody, if you thank you for joining, bro, and just hanging out with me. Like, I swear, I want to try to live stream more often, bro, but, like, my son just keeps me busy, man. Like, this that life is just, like, they're keeping me busy from gaming as much as I want to, but, but that's my little homie, man. I love him, you know? All right, he's got that synchron. Yeah, he's gonna go into the Sprite Elf because the Sprite Elf is going to bring back the Gen Synchron. And then with the Gen Synchron, what's he gonna do? Make the Bow Load or I don't even know. Wait, but where's like the Poplar? Did he even do Poplar plays? Like what happened? Like where I don't see he got the field spell or nothing like that. Alright, let's see. We gotta play this smart. Maybe we can win if we play it smart. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna hit him with the maxi. See if we can beat out anything already with the maxi. <laughs> Alright, yep, there we go. And this is the mirror match, so that cross out designator, that's a great that is a great bait. That is a great bait because that cross out designator would have negated my entire deck. Because he's got the mascarena. Alright, so let's see. What else can we bait out? Alright, there goes the Ash. Formula Synchron. I'm guessing he's probably gonna go into the Baron. Yeah, he's probably gonna make a Baron. So, alright, let's see. I think I might... I need... If I can get him to use the Baron. If he uses the Baron, then I can use the Tactics. Hmm. What should we do here? Because if I normal summon Ash... To search for the poplar. I mean, that's definitely gonna. He, I mean, he has to definitely probably negate that, right? But goddamn, my man is just popping over right now. Like he has to negate that, right? If he negates, but damn. But then if I use, and then if I use triple tech this talent, and then I, I can steal. One of his monsters, he'll probably go. Oh damn, he's gonna go into the hell of the arc light and everything. Shit, my man is just. Damn, so now he's got two negates though. Fuck. <laughs> Spell a trap, caught a monster effect. That damn, he's got two omni negates now. So now I think I lose. Shit. <laughs> God damn, bro. Snake Eyes is just crazy. Yeah, I lose because, alright, if I activate this, he can, he's gonna negate with the Arc of Light or he's gonna negate with this shit, with the Baron. And then that's my normal summon. 
And then if I activate triple attack his talent, it's the same thing. He's going to be able to negate with either or, huh? But I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Damn it, he also has Promethean Princess in the graveyard too, yeah. And then with the Mascarina, he's gonna go uh, into Apollo USA. And then the Apollo, he's gonna probably put it here under the Sprite Elf. Oh no, he's gonna link away with the out. But I mean, it's a done deal because if I... <laughs> Shit, because if, if I activate triple attack this talent, he can still negate. But, I mean, what are we gonna do? Yeah, see, he's going to negate. Yep, and that's a done deal. Shit. <laughs> but this is why I kept Forbidden Droplet, because, like, man, if I had Forbidden Droplet, Forbidden Droplet would have helped. But, I mean, I don't know, to add another droplet, oh, shit, man, just trying to keep this consistent. Maybe something like that. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Alright, man, I'm gonna play my last game, and then... It's 11 o'clock in Japan, 11 o'clock at night. I know a lot of you guys are waking up, but in Japan, we, we're gonna go to sleep. But thank you all so much for joining the live stream. I had a good time just trying to learn some Life Twin Unchained. I'm definitely gonna practice more with the deck. And then that'll probably be the next video that I make on the channel. All right, see, now this is a predicament here. What do we do? <laughs> Do we go? Do we go Snake Eyes or do we go Vampires? But you know what? Let's go Vampires, man. Let's go Vampires. My opponent's gonna be like, what the fuck? Vampires and Master Rank? I don't believe this shit. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, see, he's confused, bro. He's like, <laughs> is this guy trolling me or is he, he's, is he trying to bait me? There is no way I'm seeing vampires in Master Rank. <laughs> he's thinking hard. He's thinking hard, bro. He don't know what to do. <laughs> This is the thing, triple tactics, man. Do we look into his hand and spin something back? Yeah, see, he, <laughs> he's definitely confused, bro. Or do I draw two? Shit, man. YOLO, bro, let's go. I'm just gonna draw two. Damn, well, he's got Maxi, maybe. Oh, okay. We got simple spoils. All right. Oh, there it is. Maxi. But we drew into that ash. <laughs> so drawing two, I guess, was the right call. My man is confused. He don't know what is going on right now. 
And then we're gonna add... Oh, but damn, did I screw myself? So one other place I'm on control. Ah, no, I screwed myself. Fuck. <laughs> because the vampire is gonna get banished. It's gonna get banished. Shit. We'll add. Void, void. I mean, I don't know. I can still link it off. Uh, yeah, I mean it's all good. I'll link I'll link it off into the link Karibo and then use simple spoil on the link Karibo So Do I have yeah, I'm just gonna add void void Right and then we're just going to link Karibo Okay, then we use this on the link Rebel. Now the only thing is with the poplar, and then I'm gonna special summon you from the deck, try to thin out the deck. And then we'll add you. And we special summon you. Then we'll add the field spell. Okay, we activate the field spell. And then we'll set the flame birch. Okay, then we got Link Rebo. But actually, bro, I could like <laughs> he's got two monsters. If I wanted to, I could have like tribute these two monsters away with the and summon Void Void and do the whole thing shenanigans, but... But let's just see. We'll send... Poplar, right? And then we special summon you. Then we activate you. Activate you. Oh wait, no, shit. Wrong card, I meant to... Wrong card. <laughs> I almost screwed myself up there, bro. Almost, almost. Then we can... If I send this... No, yeah, we're gonna have to just send. Yeah, we gotta send you. And then we can special summon you. Alright. And then we go right into Mascarina. I think I can get Void Void onto the field. Let me see. Okay, because this is going to activate, right? And then I can get these cards here. Right? And then now I can... I can activate... I can activate Ghost. <laughs> I can activate goals, normal summon void void. Special summon void void and then normal summon void void and then steal his two cards. Instead of going with like cuz I can go into like, you know. Cuz we can go into all of this stuff, all of this shenanigans right here. Yo, just for the hell of it, just to confuse him, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna confuse him. This is just for fun and games, whatever. I'm gonna confuse him. <laughs> and then I'm going to tribute these two monsters. <laughs> My opponent is probably like, <laughs> yo, he's gonna be like, what is this guy doing? 
right? Then we can take this and we can take this. And then essentially we can now continue. We can I can either make the vampires or we can go into the popular stuff, but whatever. I'm gonna go into vampire stuff. Just to confuse my opponent some more. Ooh, unicorn! <laughs> unicorn! Give me that unicorn, boy, why not? <laughs> why not? Give me that unicorn. So then, whenever he normal summons or whatever, I can bring the flame burge back with the field spell. And then I can link it off. I can link Mascarina, the flame burge, and maybe I guess the unicorn into maybe the Appaloosa. I mean, let's see. We'll see what he does. So he's gonna get the Fenrir, of course. Okay, so we activate this, bring this. He's gonna go Unicorn. If I activate Unicorn, that's going to trigger this. Nah. Because even if I link it away, he's still going to be able to banish a card. And then because I have, because I have a, a, a Ash, in the graveyard, I can negate the ash. And then now, whatever he tries to banish, I can just link it off with the Mascarina. So... Bro! <laughs> In no way! Ain't no way, ain't no way. Alright, what should I do here? Go into Apollo USA, or I can go into Underworld Goddess. I'm gonna make Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess. Just because I'm running out of time, I don't know. I'm just gonna make Underworld Goddess. <laughs> Then we're gonna negate everything, and then we're gonna activate this. We're gonna bring this and bring this. Oh shit, I should have put it in attack mode. I forgot. <laughs> Search Karikara. I should have put it in attack mode. Oh well, all good. So now everything is negated. I have Underworld Goddess. This was his normal summon. So he's pretty, I feel like he's pretty, he's probably done, no? Cause if I would've gotten Appaloosa then the Fenrir was going to be able to just attack over the Appaloosa. That shit is negated. But I think he just wants to get the Unicorn, I guess. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do, get the Unicorn. Bye. 
that sound. God damn it, bro, he still had plays. <laughs> oh damn, Diabell Star and everything too, huh? Cause damn, now this shit, he's gonna be able to bring back the Fenrir. Damn, that's the problem. He's gonna be able to bring back the Fenrir. Oh, but the Fenrir already activated its banishing effect. So maybe I'm alright. Maybe I'm still okay, because he activated the banishing effect. I mean, he's probably, what, just gonna make it a rice heart or something, maybe? He can negate that. And then from here, I don't know, he can try to make a, an arise heart or something. Oh shit, I'm about to time out too, fuck. <laughs> He's gonna vanish my vampires! How dare you! I gotta toggle off, man, cause that Link Karibo is screwing me up right now. Damn, bro, he actually went for my vampire, bro. How dare you? Damn, but this is the problem with with the um, with the mirror match. Yeah, this is the problem with the mirror match, bro. Like, they can just steal all your resources. Because, like, he's gonna go up. Maybe Promethean Princess and. Yeah, he's got his he's got his three ash. I milled maybe two with my with my vampire. Yeah, it's gonna go Promethean Princess and Promethean Princess is gonna bring back oh, He's gonna get another flame brush. Okay, then with this he's gonna go into the Damn, he's gonna go into the Ambler Whale, and then with the Ambler Whale, he's gonna go into the freaking um Zelantis. That's what he's gonna do, right? He's gonna go into the Zelantis to banish everything. Yep, there you go. The Zelantis, bro. That's crazy. Wait a minute, why everything got banished though? Oh wait, sorry, my bad, my bad. There's Atlantis, that's right. Atlantis banishes everything. And then it brings it back. But the Zelantis cannot pop my underworld goddess. She, I made it with Apelous with um Mascarina, so. gonna try to pop my goddess but I made it with mascarina so she she can't be popped oh 
Aw, oh, damn. But that card can fuck it up. <laughs> that card can... Damn, but I got Link Karibo, so... Shit, can I activate Link Karibo? I only got one second. No! No! I timed out. Fuck! <laughs> I had it! I had it! I, <laughs> I had it! Damn, bro! Hey, man! Snake Eyes Vampires might just be a thing, bro! I... I actually might should... I, I should just actually experiment with this! I'm gonna save that duel, bro! I'm gonna save it! I'm, I, it might just... It might just be a thing, bro! It might just be a thing. If if I knew how to pilot a little better, because, you know, I, I had him. Because the Link Arriva would have reduced the Ambler Whale to zero. And then that's it. He was not even going to be able, he was not going to be able to attack over my goddess. And then on our turn, I would have cooked his ass. I would have cooked his ass like there's no tomorrow. I would have cooked him at the, like at the family barbecue. <laughs> Oh man, damn, bro, that's that's hilarious. Hey man, I don't know. I'm <laughs> that life twin unchained. It might it might have to wait now. I don't know. It might have to wait. I might I might just play around with this more. I might just have to make this work. But anyways, bro, thank you all so much for chilling with me, hanging out with me. It's uh it, oh shit! It's already 11:30 p.m. over here in Japan. I gotta get going. I got an early day tomorrow morning, so I gotta wake up. But thank you all so much. This was fun. I'm gonna really try to see if I can live stream some more. Uh, thank you all for rocking with me. I hope you all enjoy your time with me. And um, yeah, good morning, good night. Continue to enjoy the rest of your day. Wish you guys nothing but the best. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Kiwami Games, thank you all so much. Peace out, my people. Sayonara, oyasuminasai. Buenas noches, a mi gente.